Hey guys, this might be a horrific idea because of the wind and the kids and the water and the splashing, but I have a genius plan to come outside and film. I don't have my proper mic, um, but this feels like it would be the most genuine like packing and traveling and what I need on vacation kind of video because here I am in uh, the Dominican Republic. Punta Cana. We are at the Nickelodeon Resort right now. Today's actually our last day, so I can tell you what we needed, what we used, what I wish I had, because I am a frequent traveler. Um, but it's, you know, I still make mistakes, and sometimes I forget things, or I just don't realize that, like, wow, that would have been really convenient to have. So, without further ado, let's jump on in. <laughs> I am, like, you guys, this nose, feeling like the dick is, but. The microbladed brows, the done like lashes, honey, I have been loving my face. I'm hella freckly right now though, so what's up? And if you want to see more from this trip or like the behind the scenes kind of stuff, the vlogging stuff, that'll most likely I think be on my other channel. It may be on this channel, I don't know, but a vlog will be coming for that too. So, um, let's start with just my methods when it comes to packing. Uh, excuse if it sounds like I'm shouting at you, I'm just trying to go over the wind, should there be any. Um, but my methods for packing, everybody's looking at me down there. <laughs> I like to use bags and packing cubes. Um, so there are a couple of different things that I do because I do travel, like if I travel with the kids especially, they have so many little things and they don't know how to keep track of everything. Like, uh, you know, chonies and then like pajamas, uh, dress up clothes, everyday clothes, swimsuits, especially on a trip like this where we're cycling through a lot of swimsuits and, um, you know, we don't have a ton of space actually in these rooms. We did get some of the bigger rooms that they offer, but they're still not big enough for a family of four. Um, so I use these packing cubes. So these ones I got on Amazon in a set of three. This is the biggest, was it a set of three or two? I'll link them down below. Um, this is the biggest one. And so what it is is that like you fill it up and you fill it through this green area here. Um, and I separated it, like one for Nala, one for Jaden, the smaller one for Chonies, another small one for swimsuits. Um, and then this gray one kind of compresses it. So they become like these com more compact uh, packing things. So they go from being a little bit thicker and then you zip the gray one closed once you have it filled. It does help, and packing cubes especially help me. Not for my like my personal stuff, um, but when it comes to traveling with the kids or traveling, and just I'll show you in a second what else I use them for. But you kind of get that they, um, you know, they're not foolproof. <laughs> but they do compress down, which is really nice to have. If not for organization, then for saving space, and it has this little thing if you want to hang it or whatever. Um, like I said, I got those on Amazon. Those are actually a more recent purchase. I think I saw um, Taylor talking about them, the Taylor talking about them, and I was like, click, 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 click. I want some of those. Because the ones that I have are from um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and they came in this three pack. So this is one of them. And then I have another one here, which I will show you. Let me move my phone. Here, this is basically just full of candy. Don't judge me. You see, none of us have been eaten. <laughs> it was full of nuts and like pretzels and like um, uh, snacks like that. And then I had just some candy in here. These are like really like healthy or whatever. Um, smart sweets. They're like 90 calories a pack for gummy bears. So I take those in place. And anyway, we had like beef jerky and stuff. Just easy stuff that we could eat that I know that we like that we could have either on the plane or just while the kids are in the room and kind of really hungry before dinner and room service takes like an hour, you know, like, so stuff like that. Um, this is the smaller version and then we have, this is the middle version and then there's a bigger pink one. And that one I keep, I had Nala's clothes in that one this time. Um, but these are pretty basic. It was like $10 for a three pack. And I love these for organizing food or hair stuff. So this is all of the kids stuff. Um, that they need for their hair. It's the miniature Jessie curl, it's the gel, it's the picks, the combs, the rubber bands for Nala. Um, I had her weave in here, I took it out. I have all of her little uh, metal like hair things in here. I have her deodorant in here. I have Jaden's allergy medicine in here. I have like Nala and Jaden Central right here. And it actually fits quite a bit. And because so much of this is doubles of things that we don't need, then I actually just, you know, I have Nala's like edge control when I do her braids. Um, and I have like cortisone itch cream because I don't put this on but I put it on the kids um, Like I said her hair stuff. Sorry if I'm looking at myself a lot. It's because it's 
difficult for me to see the screen because of the lighting right now. It's a, a Hello house, so it has to be here in, in front of her video. But How rude. Um, for some of the more expensive stuff that I'm not willing to repurchase just for the sake of taking it on a trip, I just use these little reusable bottle thing or these little um, plastic bottles from like Target or whatever. This is full of Jesse Curl, and if you guys know what I think about Miss Jessie's, uh, you know that bottle is like $25. So I was like, okay, we're gonna leave that one here. I'm not even gonna risk that one disappearing on me. And then I just fill this up with a little bit of the Jesse Curl, which is something that I like to put in her hair to um, make the curls really pop and stuff. This is stuff that would be roaming around. There's even a brush in there, a little mini wet brush. It would be roaming around everywhere. And for me, the name of the game is to be organized, but also be efficient. And for me, like I know, okay, the green one, that's the kid's stuff. The blue one, I know, that's got like food and snacks in it. That can go wherever. The green one needs to stay with the kid's stuff. The blue one goes wherever. The pink one goes, like, it just helps me to kind of color code my life. Speaking of kids though, while we're on the subject, this is a really great camera to let your kids use if you want. Um, I have the other one, not the Polaroid one, the Fujifilm one, and that one like shoots the picture at the top, but it doesn't have like a, any kind of memory to it or anything like that. Now I actually earned this one through Girl Scouts, and this is the Polaroid one. Um, but what's cool about this one is that it actually has a memory card in it. So she can take pictures and do all that without having to touch mommy's very big expensive camera or my vlog camera or my phone, which all of these things that cost a lot of money that are part of you know, my job, and I'm sure you guys have things that you don't want your kids playing with either, but you don't necessarily want them to miss the opportunity to be able to snap a cute pic. Right? Yeah, because uh, you actually can save them because I don't want to take them. I took one, one and now it's kind of like moist. I took one. And there we go. Yeah, and if you print it, it will, and you don't have to print it. Maybe if I get back home, I can put the ones that I exactly. like. Exactly. So because the one that I printed got a little moist, so I'll put that one again. Yeah, like, so if she wanted to go take a picture of Jaden right now, you know. Like, one time I took a picture of me and Gisela, and I printed it, and I gave one to Gisela. Right. Okay, go back in the pool. So this is just a really great camera for kids overall, um, but on vacation I think yeah, it's fun for them to be able to have something that they feel like they can use. This records video too, um, yeah, you know, it's, video. Yeah, it's not this quality, but it's perfect for them and it does print out right here and you don't have to shake it or anything. I think it's like a no ink, or I don't exactly know how it works, but really great camera, especially for kids and for something fun like this to, you know, kind of get their perspective basically. Um, okay, another thing, I picked up this bag at Target, and it's so important for me personally to have bags, and I almost always travel with a crossbody bag, which is right here. I actually linked this one in a video like 10 videos ago probably. I picked it up in a couple of different colors. It's really great because it has the one zipper on top, and then it has three compartments in the center, um, which I really like. And this is where I keep like my everyday stuff, and I picked a color that I knew would go with my day outfits and my night outfits. Just like last time I had like a purple one, this time I'm using the white one. Um, but I wanted something because I was traveling with the children of course that would fit their stuff because they have a pool here they have a beach they have a water park and I didn't want to be going back and forth and I didn't want to be toting around a big old tote bag or anything like that I picked this up at Target it was only ten dollars it's part of their museum of ice cream collection ten bucks right big giant fanny pack basically this thing honey if you got a little belly a little booty a little anything if you want to put two people in here this thing gets so 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 big at its smallest, it fits well around Nala's shoulders. But that's okay, it opens and closes really easily. She's actually been the one wearing it, and it's so big, but it doesn't get too heavy. It's just like pink sprinkles everywhere, very cute stuff. But I wanna show you what I keep in here. Um, so, sunscreen, when I travel, I travel with a lot of sunscreen, despite the fact that I look a little burnt. It's because on the very first day, I think just in the excitement, I completely forgot to put sunscreen on my top half. My bottom half, good to go. My top half, ouch! And then someone else put, I think their uncle put sunscreen on the kids, and um, it ended up wearing off, and I just didn't reapply it soon enough, so they got a little crisp too, but we're good now. I mean, I'm already peeling, like, so it's been a while. It, it barely hurts, like one to 10, it's like a three right now. Um, but I bring lots and lots and lots of spray sunscreen. This is like our second or third bottle because we're all using it, but it fits perfectly. A nice full-size bottle fits perfectly in here. I also picked up some cheap pool toys while I was at Target before we came, so these light up and you throw them. 
they pick them up or whatever. Balls, classic, like super cheap pool toys because the pools here or the shop here is expensive and a toy like this is $3 at Target but it's, you know, $14 here. Another thing that's really great, of course, is a GoPro camera. If you don't want to invest in a GoPro, there are um, cheaper alternatives. I think they're like maybe $100, $200, maybe even less. Um, but I do have an actual like GoPro and I brought it exclusively for the kids to use. But what I really liked is this handle because um, it allows the kids to slip their hand into it and they get to grip it and jump and do whatever with it. I'm like so afraid that you guys are not gonna be able to hear me this whole time. I'm so sorry if you can't. And if I still put it up, that means that I really wanted you to see this and I'm hoping you can just bypass the awful audio that it probably has. Okay, I readjusted the camera. I just had to check if the audio was completely horrific. If you're sticking with me, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay, so as I was saying, <laughs> um, this little guy I got from Target and it's from X Stories. X Stories? I don't know what that's supposed to say. Um, but anyway, it's been really clutch for the kids for filming and stuff. And you can also take pictures and stuff when you're like, you know, in the ocean or the pool or whatever. Um, as far as sunscreen goes though, I really love this one, not because it's necessarily amazing, because um, I will still apply sunscreen on top of it. Neutrogena is my OG for sunscreen. It's the best. It has really high SPF. Oh, I'm burnt and I scratched it. Oh my gosh, it hurts. Okay. <laughs> um, but this one makes me so soft. Like by the end of the day, after having used this and the oil that goes with it, which unfortunately I cannot show to you because my brother got all burnt up and he's like, I need some time out of the sun. You know, he wanted my aloe oil. So it's by the same brand, it's by Pacifica. And um, this one teamed up with the oil after like a day. Dude, you are the softest, smoothest, most luxurious skinned person on earth. It's real thick. I put it on the kid's face. Um, it It's not, well, now it's not as thick because it's been outside and it's kind of hot or whatever. But um, it smells amazing. I also bought the other one. and I So I have the spray version of the sunscreen. I have the lotion version of the sunscreen. And this is like a vegan and cruelty free brand if you guys are not familiar with it. Um, but this is um, a 50 SPF and then it has the aloe like cooling oil which is a mist. So, so, so nice. I keep it in the fridge. I covered the kids in it night after night after night after night because they were kind of feeling it from the sun and stuff. Um, and it just, it's so, so nice. I will put a picture up of it. I will link it for sure. It is so lovely. I just can't stress that enough. But we also have like a little $2 CVS brand of aloe lotion. I highly suggest you travel with that. It is really nice for a cooling effect on your skin. If you are one that either tends to get burnt and um, it hurts, or if you even have like a deeper, richer skin tone and maybe the burn doesn't hurt quite as much, or um, maybe you just tend to peel then the aloe helps so that you don't peel as much because you keep your skin hydrated. So I highly suggest either that oil or just traveling with some aloe. So I also, of course, my baby, he got um, drains put in his ears, or drains, he got tubes put in his ears and they still drain a lot when he goes in the um, tub and stuff. So I got him uh, some of these like squishy earplugs. They're literally in his ears right now or I would show them to you. I bought these in a 12 pack actually because he goes to summer camp, he goes to dad's house. He swims a lot in the summertime especially Especially like a lot a lot a lot they are little water babies um, they've been in the pool or in the ocean at least eight hours a day every single day <laughs> since we've been here um, it's extreme with them so these are really good earplugs because they can very easily take them apart it's almost like sticking gum in your ear and then it, they work really well for him so I bought a 12 pack of those on Amazon everything that I can link I will link guys I promise the kids also keep their goggles in here they fit the goggles and they fit all the water toys all right, so next up, some of my most important things. Oh, quickly, I will do my cosmetics bag. This one is, I think, really hideous. I had one that was lovely before. It was black and turquoise, beautiful, but it got old and gross and started to rip after like three years. I got it from Target. I also got this one from Target. Um, this is really simple. It has a little thing on it. It's nice and it's kind of compact, but still thick, and it fits everything that we need. It's a little bananas right now, because our stuff is everywhere, but it has the plastic on the inside, so if something were to explode, it would contain it to this area. Um, so I try to separate them based on like things that can explode and things that can't explode, like deodorant and razors and ear uh, things, what are they called, Q-tips, and then explodable things. And then up here, since my Aunt Flo came to town today, thanks, hi, still on vacay, but it's cool, we'll hang. Um, this is just where I keep nothing but like 
pads and tampons and like that kind of stuff that no one needs to see. You can't hang it up, you don't need to, but this carries absolutely everything for us. Now, if you've got some thick thighs, honey, let me introduce you to your best friend. So many of you have asked me about it. I have mentioned it countless, countless, countless times, but it's always worth mentioning it again. This is the Monistat um, Chafing Relief Powder Gel. I have multiple ones of these. I will show you another one in a second. It is a gel, and it's exactly what it said. It's a powder gel. It goes on clear and it just feels like silicone in your hands. Um, you rub it onto any area that would chafe. For me, that's my thighs. For my baby, that's her thighs. Like, her thighs rub together now. And so do mine, and the last thing that I want is wet, irritated thighs. So I put that on one to two times a day, twice a day actually, and it works phenomenally. It's amazing. When I'm back home, I only have to put it on once a day, but here I'm in water, I'm sweating, I'm this, I'm that, I'm whatever. It is amazing. You will find it in Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS, whatever. Find it over there by where they keep all of the, um, basically by tampons and pads and stuff, all the feminine stuff. You'll find it right there. It comes in a box. Now, onto my little um, crossbody bag. This is pretty much what I almost always exclusively have in my bag when I'm traveling. So I have my camera. This is my vlogging camera. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, I actually recently broke it for the bazillionth time. I gotta go home and get a new screw. But it's an amazing camera. I have broken it multiple times. They have replaced it for me. One time I dropped it in the ocean. <laughs> LOL, they did not replace that one. They do not replace salt water damage. I also keep a small sunscreen in my purse or my face with a high SPF. Um, I didn't put this on the first day, LOL, LOL, LOL. <laughs> I keep an extra battery for my uh, vlogging camera. I keep cash, especially when you travel, I highly suggest that you, you know, go to the bank and get $100 in fives. A lot of times when I travel, I think especially because we're Americans, I'm not sure though, um, everyone expects tips, right? So if we go to dinner, it's a $20 tip. I'll be transparent here because everything's included or whatever and they're really just, you know, if it's a, if it's a buffet, it's not a $20 tip. Um, but if we go to dinner, the five of us, it's a $20 tip. And for pretty much anything else, it's a $5 tip. Room service, $5 tip, um, whatever. Just in terms of like when I'm spending cash, if I'm actually writing something out, like the other guy I got, a, or the other day I got a bottle of wine, it was 30 bucks, I give the guy a $10 tip, like whatever. Um, but I highly suggest, suggest picking up some cash. And just because we're in the Dominican doesn't mean I need Dominican money. They will happily take the American dollar um, if I don't happen to get the Dominican money. And like when I'm in Mexico, a lot of times I just use American money and they really don't mind it, especially because I tend to give them more of American dollars than what I probably would have, um, his, you know, like a peso or something like that. So I highly suggest just getting some cash but getting smaller bills because a lot of times I only have 20s. I mean, in Mexico, I was giving guys $100 tips because all I carried were hundreds. Like I had taken thousands of dollars out and they was all in hundreds. And I was like, well I'm not not gonna tip him. So here you go. Here you go. <laughs> like don't get yourself into a situation where you can't tip somebody because you know at the end of the day they're serving you and they rely on making money that way. So then I have my just little my little baby wallet. Um, nothing too serious here. I keep this with me. What? Oh, and then over here I keep a little Monistat chafing cream. You see this one's almost out. Me and I have been using it like crazy. And then this is hands down my absolute favorite of all time um, SPF for my face and lips. I especially put it on my lips all the time because your lips do get burned. Um, I think Lewis's lips got burned this time. Your lips get burnt and you don't want that to um, happen. And I get extremely irritated in this area. So this has an SPF 30, this is by Fresh. They actually sent me one um, for free. And then I went back and I bought a couple more. I use them every single day. I keep it in my car. It doesn't completely melt, which is lovely. Um, I keep it in my purse. I keep them all over the place. I'm obsessed with this. And then I just have like a lipstick in here. And um, some tampons and anklets. I love anklets. It's my new thing. What's up, babe? Okay, and this, I just thought I would show you guys. This is the current backpack that I'm traveling with. I think I showed it in a vlog. Um, but I got it from Target. It was 30 bucks. It's not like a cute little leather backpack that I can use as a purse, but it's like a cross in between, and I love it. The front pocket is huge. It's perfect. I have sunglasses in here. I have, um, a pen. If you're ever traveling internationally, especially, Keep a pen with you in your bag because you have to fill out the customs forms and people get a little stingy with pens and airplanes and just have a pen with you. I have made that mistake before and I wish I didn't. And people were just like, you didn't bring a pen? I'm like, no, Bob, can I borrow yours? Like, it's not that big of a deal. But 
It is big enough to hold my laptop and all my other stuff. I have a laptop, I keep bags in here, Bibles in here. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I just, I just thought I would mention this bag because it's actually a new find and I'm a big fan of it. Another thing is that inside of my bag, my purse, whatever, my bigger one, I always have this bag. I think it's from like Old Navy or Target or something, I forget. But in this bag, I keep anything that is extremely essential that I would need in a pinch. So I keep um, something to clean my teeth out with. I keep Cottonelle wipes, which is for a certain time of the month. I keep some pads in here. I have um, moleskin. I have the pre-cut ones too, but Jaden used them all because I bought him um, some loafers for this trip. They look real cute and everything, but they were a little bit too big. I keep a couple of hair ties. I have Vaseline. I have um, hand sanitizer. The most vital things, right? I have Dramamine. That's not vital. Um, I have a toothbrush. I have toothpaste. I have some Tums. I have, um, you know, I eat a lot differently now, so when I go out of town and I'm eating like fried foods or really sugary foods or greasy foods, my body cannot handle it quite the same, so I gotta keep Tums or something in here, otherwise it is painful. I keep a small perfume. This is the YSL Black Opium. I keep a rollerball perfume. It smells so good. Um, now, I used to keep like mascara, a brow pencil, and then one other thing which I'll show you. And now I still keep the brow pencil, but it's just to comb everything out. <laughs> um, and then here's the mascara, but I don't use the mascara now because it has an oil base. Finally, this is my favorite thing. I have shared about it and talked about it so many times, you guys. This is the Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. I think it's like 30 bucks. It's the sheer tint release. So it goes on sheer and it becomes kind of like matching your skin tone. It kind of looks like, a, like, like you mix sand into... Um, um, into a lotion. It's lovely, right? So you rub it on and it just makes your face look so nice. It, it makes your skin look nicer. I don't think you can even tell. Um, but that's the point. So I rub it on because my freckles are a lot right now. They're really popping out. They're intense. They're causing my face to be discolored. The red nose. Um, this just evens it out for nighttime. I'll have to insert a picture of me wearing it because I haven't been wearing any makeup um, outside of this. And I wear this almost every day after the gym. Um, I wear it all the time. I am fully obsessed with it. What? Can I try and show them an example? <laughs> Yeah, in a minute, okay? You gotta wipe off the sunscreen that's around your nose. But do not get it around your eyes. It is awful if you get it in your eyes, so you don't wanna get it there. Trust me, trust me. One thing that I wish that I brought that I didn't bring, that I wish that we had basically even just for every day is wet bags. If we had some kind of bag that would allow the wet clothes to stay within it and not seep out and not stink and all that, like I would love to have some kind of wet bag to keep um, all of our used up swimsuits. Like sure, I could have them wash them here at the resort, but it's like $4 per swimsuit and let's say I had five, Jaden had four, Nala had four or three. You know, um, Lewis had some too, like that would be, and instead be insane. Like I'm looking at a $50 wash of laundry. Like no, I even look, I do some bougie things sometimes, but that is not one of them. Another thing that I really love though, another product that I'm loving while I'm home and especially on vacation too, is this Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant with pure cocoa butter. It's almost like a thin, watery, like, Vaseline. So just imagine Vaseline, but it smells like cocoa butter, so it's delicious. And um, it's very shiny, but it's wicked hydrating. So I love to rub it on my skin um, when we're gonna go out in place of using lotion or anything like that. See, those wild kids, those are not my kids. Those are other people's kids right now. <laughs> The last couple things, um, I keep a cute little pill case. I bought this one, I think, at DSW or Target. It might have been Target. It was 10 bucks. I remember that. So I keep some pills in here. Um, nothing too crazy. I don't keep my information in there or whatever. And then I have a couple like cold pills and some allergy medicine for my son. Um, but I, I am on a medication every day for the rest of my life. So I need something to help separate it. I also take, I also take like allergy uh, supplements. Not allergy supplements. I take iron and I just have a couple of things in here that I need to take but it's really convenient to have this little case to separate it for day by day. I also take my iPad every time that I travel along with whatever headphones um, but I was gonna mention with obviously your technology if you're flying like United or American or whatever a lot of times they have in-flight um, service so like you get to watch movies or television shows and stuff like that for free. If the plane itself does not have a screen on it on your seat, then you can usually just download that app before you get on the plane. Like I highly suggest you download it before you get on the plane. Um, 
and then it's super easy. You don't even sign in or anything. The plane will have Wi-Fi. You don't have to pay for it. And for me, it's so clutch with the kids. They can watch Bizarre Vark, and I don't have to pay for it, and it's right there on their iPads, and we don't have to download anything beforehand, which is very convenient because I'm the type that forgets to download stuff. So I usually make sure they have an audiobook, and whatever airplane we're flying on, usually United, um, they have the United app. And finally, um, coming up to the end, oh, obviously, you need passports if you're going to travel anywhere. This is an essential for us. I have a lot of different passport covers, um, but these ones, these brighter ones, I got these from Amazon. I think they're awesome. They were like only a few bucks, and this is Jada and me and Nala right here. Um, but you obviously need passports if you're planning to do any kind of international travel. And these little bags, these thinner ones, these are from Target. I love them so much. Um, they're only 10 bucks. And they fit all of my um, chargers and everything. You know, I definitely love traveling with a power bank just in case we end up getting stuck somewhere, something happens. I always make sure I have full charge on that. Um, and just some other random cords and stuff. It's just really nice to keep them somewhere. You know, I know where they are and they're easy to reach and they're convenient and they're not floating around all over the place. What? This is just one more bag. This is the last bag that I put into my backpack and this is where I keep the snacks that we're gonna have like on the plane or at the airport or on the car ride or something. Um, this will almost always have like nuts and like beef jerky and graham crackers, stuff like that. Of course, you need a pair of sunglasses. I think that's pretty much it. I might have forgotten some stuff. I hope I didn't, but I might have. Um, but if you guys stuck with me through this video, I appreciate it. I will do my very best to link absolutely everything that I can down below or just about everything that I can. Um, oh, I forgot I had a cappuccino, guys. It's probably cold. It's 100% definitely super cold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, drop it down um, below. Was that really everything? It was. So, um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let's, let's see what the kids are doing. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys.